my monologue is about um, bully side and how it affects others. And to portray this, I'm going to be um, the father of, of a child who had just committed bully side. And what I want the audience to get from this are the results of bullying and of bully side. Here I sit in this empty house, waiting for my son to come home. This is a pattern I carry out, waiting for a boy who won't return. It is here where I sit and try to think about the past, to think about the hundred ways I could have helped, but also the thousand ways I didn't. In this overwhelming silence, a silence I hope will wake the dead, I attempt to come to terms with my past and the present in vain. I want to bring my mind to the future the past, as the present is tainted by the dark past. It has been more than a year since that famous smile faded. I did not lose my son to famine or to war. The one who took my son was far more cruel. The one who took my son was my son. That day was normal, all routine. It was actually rather dull. When I entered my phone, I expected bad news, yet never this bad. Her hysteria and screams sent shivers down my spine. Her words were blurring together until I yelled, what is going on? The words she said next, shall forever haunt me, a constant reminder of how I failed. He is dead. These words are a scar that cannot be removed. Ty is dead. A picture of my boy flashed in my mind. A smile I sh shall never see again. Hang up and call 911. I clung to a faint hope, a hope I was soon destroyed. It was my job to protect him. I soon learned why he did what he did. He stood up to his tormentors who had bullied him for years. The result? He was suspended for three days, his tormentor for one. My son, he didn't even serve one day. Grief was the first to knock on my door. Grief, I had lost my only son. He was suspended because he stood up for himself. Anger. Anger was a second to enter the room. Anger at the tormentors. Anger at the baby I had just lost. Then, then began the longing for a second chance. What if I, maybe I should have, what if I? But a wise voice told me, down that path lies madness. Why does this happen? My son, who had done nothing wrong, who was a good student, he passed away thinking I would be disappointed in him. What he doesn't know, what he will never know, is a private parent who sees the bravery of his son. Then I realized my son 
not, was not the only one to die by Bully's side. By his own hand, guided by the torment of others. I promise myself I shall fight to end this. Ty is dead, but he will be the last. And this is the vow I make on Father's Day. <laughs>